Welcome to the Daily Quiz Podcast. Today's category is music. Let's get to it. Question 1. What song by Frankie Avalon went to number 1 in 1959? The answer is Venus. Venus was not originally intended to be a hit for Frankie Avalon. In fact, it was written by Ed Marshall as a B-side for another song. However, when radio DJs started playing Venus instead of the intended A-side, it quickly climbed the charts and became one of Avalon's biggest hits. The song has since been covered by numerous artists and remains a beloved classic. Question 2. Which famous composer did Falco sing about? The answer is Amadeus. Falco's hit song Rock Me Amadeus was inspired by the life of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, one of the most famous composers in history. The song became a worldwide success in 1986 and was the first German language song to reach number one on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 chart. Falco's unique blend of pop and rap, combined with references to Mozart's life, made for an unforgettable tribute to the legendary composer. Question 3. Who had a hit in 1993 with She Don't Let Nobody? The answer is Chaka Demas and Pliers. Chaka Demas and Pliers were a Jamaican reggae duo who had a massive hit in 1993 with She Don't Let Nobody. The song was actually a cover of an old folk tune, but the duo's upbeat and catchy version made it a chart topping success. Interestingly, Chaka Demas and Pliers were not originally supposed to record the song it was offered to another artist who turned it down, giving the duo their big break. Question 4. OMD's Enola Gay was about a famous World War II peace activist or bomber. The answer is... Bomber. Enola Gay was the name of the American B-29 bomber that dropped the atomic bomb on Hiroshima, Japan in 1945. The song by OMD is actually named after this plane and is a tribute to its pilot, Colonel Paul Tibbetts. Despite controversy surrounding the use of atomic bombs in warfare, Tibbetts defended his decision until his death in 2007. Question 5. Confide in Me was a hit in 1994. Who was the singer? The answer is Kylie Minogue. Kylie Minogue's hit song Confide in Me was actually written by two brothers, Steve and Dave Seaman, who were originally part of the British rock band Brothers in Rhythm. The song was initially intended for another artist, but Kylie heard it and loved it so much that she convinced the brothers to let her record it instead. Question 6. Which song by the palindromic pop group ABBA had a palindromic title? The answer is... SOS. The song SOS by ABBA not only has a palindromic title, but it also features a unique use of Morse code in the intro. The repeated pattern of three short beeps, followed by three long ones, and then three more short ones spells out the title of the song in Morse code. This clever addition adds to the overall catchiness and memorability of this classic ABBA hit. Question 7. Name the group that linked with Motorhead on the St. Valentine's Day Massacre EP. The answer is Girl School. Did you know that Girl School, the all female British heavy metal band, collaborated with Motorhead on the St. Valentine's Day Massacre EP? The EP featured four tracks, two by each band, and was released in 1981. This collaboration helped to break down gender barriers in the male dominated world of heavy metal music. Question 8. 
who recorded albums entitled Mystery, The Beat Goes On and Near the Beginning. The answer is Vanilla Fudge. Vanilla Fudge, the American rock band, recorded albums entitled Mystery, The Beat Goes On and Near the Beginning. Their unique sound was characterized by heavy use of organ and psychedelic rock elements. Interestingly, their cover of the song You Keep Me Hanging On became a hit in 1967 and is still considered one of their most popular songs to this day. Question 9. Which style of jazz was pioneered by Charlie Parker and Dizzy Gillespie? The answer is Bebop. Bebop, the jazz style pioneered by Charlie Parker and Dizzy Gillespie in the 1940s, was known for its complex harmonies and fast tempos. It was a reaction to the simpler swing music of the time and required musicians to have exceptional technical skills. Bebop also had a significant impact on modern jazz and influenced many musicians who followed in Parker and Gillespie's footsteps. Question 10. Johnny Halliday was a massive star over three decades in which country? The answer is... France. Johnny Halliday, also known as the French Elvis, was not only a massive star in France for over three decades but also holds the record for the most number one hits by a French artist. He sold over 110 million records worldwide and was awarded numerous accolades throughout his career, including being made a Chevalier of the Legion of Honor by French President Jacques Chirac in 1997. Thanks for tuning in and playing along to our musical trivia. We hope you hit all the right notes and didn't flat out. Until next time, keep on rocking. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. Let's part ways for now, until tomorrow arrives. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. See the show notes page for sources and credits. Check out our other podcasts in our network at ClassicStudios.com.